Iceland, land of ice and fire and amazing nature. Join me on this journey and I will show you what to expect during the winter months. Upon our arrival, weather was really bad, snowy, windy, icy. But eventually we managed to get to our cottage inside the golden circle near the small town named Fludish. Cottage was really nice and big to accept six adults with everything you need for a week stay. After a good night's rest, on our first day, we visited the Strokur Geysir. It's a really nice place to visit, with different amenities to see. We will also find restaurant, visitor center and free parking. So here we are at the Strokur Geysir. This is a well uh, famous geysir here in Iceland. It's amazing weather, amazing scenery. The only unfortunate thing is that I can't bring up the drone because it's uh, forbidden to fly the drones around. So, but yeah, every six to eight minutes the geyser goes off. It's a very spectacular uh, scene as you can see right now. So yeah, it's well worth it to come here. Make sure you, you're dressed well. You have those uh, spice or crampons on your shoes. So it's amazing. Look at that. On our way to Gulfos waterfalls, we stopped to greet and pet some wild horses. And after 10 minutes drive, we arrived at spectacular scene of waterfalls. So this is the Gulf Forest waterfalls. To enjoy this spectacular nature show, make sure to dress really good as it was unbelievably cold. It was one of the coldest places that we visited in Iceland.
and after a long and freezing day, we found some comfort in our hot tub back in the cottage. Here we arrived at this uh, parking lot where you can leave your uh, car and then from here uh, to go to the airplane rack you can go by a shuttle bus which goes every half an hour but it is a bit pricey or you can walk over there which is going to take you approximately 45 minutes and it's uh, let's say 3.4 3.5 kilometers away uh, don't forget on the parking lot to uh, pay the, uh, the fee uh, for the parking otherwise you're going to get uh, the fine and here you're going to find some uh, information about uh, the shuttle bus uh, there is for the parking and then through this gate you can uh, here Welcome to Adventure Ground, some activities that you can you can do and then from here that way you're going to go. One piece of advice I want to give you, get dressed very well if you're going to walk over there and if you can get these, let me show you quickly, these crampons for the shoes, that's going to be a really really good thing. So let's crack on. So, after approximately 45 minutes of walk from the parking lot, we are finally arriving at the plane site. So as I said earlier, you can get a shuttle bus from the parking space. Uh, it is quick, but uh, it's not cheap. So you have to be prepared on that. But as I said, 45 minutes or 3.4 kilometers one direction is not that bad so have a look at the plane Here we are finally arrived at this plane wreck. It's an amazing sight to see. It's worth the hassle to come over here and walk uh, this three or four kilometers. But it is really nice place to visit, take some photos, some videos, and yeah, make some memories. Look at that sunrise. It's absolutely crazy, amazing. And over there, if you go a bit further, you can see a black sand coast or beach. So it is really nice. Let's see the rest of this plane.
up on the plane it is a bit uh, tricky so I recommend to be extra careful here you can find like uh, steps one two three four and then you get at the top of the plane be careful where you're going to stand because this uh, aluminium sheet is pretty thin so make sure that you have a, a solid support underneath so if you look at here there is like reinforcement so that's where you have to look for to stand and then if you have maybe drone you can make really nice uh, some nice shots of this uh, plane minutes from airplane wreck we arrived at the first waterfall so here we are at the Skogafoss waterfalls I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly but yeah it's a 60 meter tall waterfall quite impressive Again, hopefully I pronounce it correctly. So this one is same, 60 meters in height, and it is quite windy at the moment, so we'll see how this one goes. Let's have a look at it. It is so cold here and so wet. Look at this. It's completely iced up. completely frozen glass is ice on it <laughs> yeah so I just want to show you that my complete gear all the cameras have frozen up everything is completely frozen <sighs> look at that even GoPro but yeah definitely worth it yeah Give me a moment, this is not easy to get through. So I am doing my way. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, look at this. So the water is like quite deep, but there is some rocks laid down, but they are so slippery, it's so icy, it's unbelievable. But look at this view. It's spectacular. Absolutely amazing view. Let's go a bit further in. Oh, let's see. How is this going to be? Ah. Okay. Come on! 
Let me try to wipe the glass. Cool. Look at this. Whoa! This is unbelievable! Woohoo! So yeah, this was one of the best waterfalls that I have seen. I, I, I cannot pronounce the name, so I will put it on the screen now so you can see it for yourself. Uh, be careful how do you uh, walk uh, inside, it's so slippery, uh, the rocks can turn over, but does it work? Oh, definitely it, it is. So on our fifth day we came to see the last European glacier and I'm not going to try to pronounce this name, have a look for yourself. So hey my Yokul, definitely that was poorly pronounced. So yeah, that over there is one small part of that glacier that goes all the way around and then spreads on a really big uh, surface so now we're going to head down and look at that glacier from uh, up close I see you down there enjoy these amazing colors and views just be extra vigilant if you want to go and climb this glacier be prepared and wear appropriate shoes crampons and complete gear After the glacier, we came to visit the famous Renis Fiara Black Sand Beach. And here you can see a lot of warning signs as this is one of the most dangerous places in Iceland. Uh, if you go too close to the water, the waves can basically pull you in if you are not careful. And here I just want to show you the type of the vehicles that they use here in Iceland to go around because it's so icy and so snowy so they have to use those special vehicles. Enjoy this couple of uh, segments of this black sand beach. This is that famous black sand beach. It's full of tourists, so I'm not that impressed. And it's terribly windy. I'm not sure can you hear me saying anything, but I will do my best. I just want to show you how it looks. That's the black sand beach. Sand is black, but yeah, as I said, it's so cold, it's so windy. I can't fly a drone at the moment. 
so I think we'll we'll go from here to find some um, hot springs and some natural hot baths to warm up a bit yeah so have a look at the black sand <laughs> From the Black Sand Beach, we set our course to find a Hrunelaug hot bath. And with the help of our navigator, we managed to find this nature gem. This is the natural hot spring Runalung. Uh. <laughs> All right, so let's see this hot spring. Let's go to So today's uh, destination is a carried crater. We're going to go in now and have a look. Uh, so there is a fee, there is entrance fee, which costs uh, 400 uh, Icelandic kronas. And I will put down below how much that costs in dollars. So yeah, and here also we have no drones, so we'll see about that. This place is nice to visit during the winter, however, according to the pictures and photos that I saw, it is much better to see it during the summer time. However, I just want to uh, make you aware, if you do come and visit this during the winter, be really careful and uh, make appropriate equipment, uh, your, the shoes, the good shoes, the spikes and everything. As you can see from here there was one uh, incident where uh, ambulance has to come, the police and everything, because one uh, person slipped and I think he broke his leg. So just be extra vigilant here. One of the things that we really wanted to see here in Iceland was the Northern Light or the Aurora Borealis and after five days it finally came. You have to use your phone or the camera to be able to see it really well, but enjoy in this couple of minutes. Okay. 
On our last day, our plan was to visit the Blue Lagoon. But we was a little bit late because of the weather conditions, our car got uh, stuck in the snow, but uh, nevertheless we managed to come and enjoy this beautiful warm uh, and blue water. As you can see here, you can use uh, this uh, silica gel uh, and put it on your face as a face mask. Also in this price, one drink was included by your choice. Cheers. And finally after the Blue Lagoon, uh, on our last night we went to the capital city of Iceland, Reykjavik and enjoyed some of the things that you can see in that uh, vibrant uh, city. We went for a dinner, uh, you can find many really good restaurants, however the price is quite high, but nevertheless you will have to do that if you come to visit uh, Reykjavik. Yeah, enjoy uh, this couple of slides and I hope uh, you are going to visit uh, this place uh, at least once in your life. We are planning to come back. Uh, in the summer. Until the next time, please like and subscribe to our channel to see more uh, videos like this, if maybe they're going to help you to make up your mind for your next trip. Enjoy!